Well, first of all, you, you know, appreciate uh, all the work and, and effort that goes into um, you know, by the players and coaches and getting a win. It's good to get the first win of the season. And, um, you know, again, a lot of guys contributed to that, and, and that's always good to see. And, you know, I thought defensively played, obviously, played really, really well. And um, you know, I thought, you know, certainly had some things offensively that uh, were good, but, you know, early didn't, we, we didn't finish the first drive. And, and then, uh, you know, it's a shame the way we're playing defensively, and, you know, the pick six. Um, but, you know, it was, it was good to get a lot of guys a chance to play and, um, and, and proud of their efforts, and it was good to get the victory. What do you think of the running back combination you have with, with Chess and Jalen and also Isaac being able to, to get a handful of touches as well and the things those three can do? Yeah, I mean, uh, really, a lot of them, right? I mean, Chess, I thought, again, did some really good things. And, and uh, you know, Jalen got a chance to go. And, and you can see, you know, what Isaac is capable of. And uh, that was uh, that was impressive. And it was good to see, you know, Ship got in and, and Braylon. And, um, you know, I think for us to be the – Good group there, you know, it's going to take all of them. Well, we saw the offensive line, the starters at least, play quite a bit and seem to be in the second level more often. How do you take what they did today and apply it to, you know, some of the tougher defenses you're going to play down the road? Yeah, I mean, that's a, it's always an interesting, you know, part of football, right, that um, you, know, you are able to do it knowing that each week changes, right, and uh, each opponent it's different, but you know it was uh, it was good to see and, and and needed to see that in a number of different ways. And so um, how it carries forward, you know that we gotta we gotta make sure we keep working right and build on the, some of those things that uh, did do well. And and um, and then there's still some areas that we gotta keep working to clean up, right? And and I don't mean to be a broken record, but that's the truth of it all. But it was uh, it's good to see, you know. And I thought guys. Played with good energy uh, across the board. Okay. Going back to the top three tailbacks, do they each give you a little bit of something different? Is that a nice thing about that combination? Yeah, I think though, kind of that whole group in, in, in many ways, um, and so that they they do uh, give you a little bit different, and, and yet I don't feel like you have to change what you're doing. You know, okay, who's in the game can't call this or should call that. Um, but I think that you know it's a young or in an experienced group. You know, Isaac's not a young player, but he's, um, you know, he, he doesn't have a ton of carries. And, you know, Chez certainly has experience, but is gaining more as he goes. And, you know, Jalen had, I think, four games last year, you know, and, and uh, obviously Braylon's young, you know, and so it's, uh, like I said, I think as we go through this season, we're going to need them all. And, and, and all have their different, you know, little style, I think. But um, we just need to keep keep getting better and keep growing there. Well, the first 15 plays were, were running running plays. I'm just curious, how much of that is saying, look, we've got to get comfortable running the ball when we want to, and also putting your quarterback in a position where play action pass or he can throw it in comfortable spots. Yeah, I think it was. Um, you know, certainly want to come out and and uh, and get it going or try to get it going and. Uh, and I thought guys were giving us the chance to call them again, and, and so um, you know, that was part of it. Obviously, if you're running the ball, then it does. Or a lot of the times, it, it opens up other parts, and I thought it you know gave us some things today when uh, when you can do a good job of, of running the ball with consistency. Well, you mentioned how many guys contributed. It seemed like about the middle of the third quarter, you were get a lot of the second and third string in there. How did you kind of judge when that time was to, to make those large-scale substitutions? Was it just the, the score or the game flow, or how did you make that call? Yeah, you kind of went with, um, you know, kind of as we were going, you kind of knew that third series. You didn't know how the game was going to play out necessarily, but, you know, one to, I think there's a combination. You want to put, put it on the guys, like, you know, doesn't matter what it is, you got to be ready to go. And when it's time to go, let, let's go. And, and so that the third drive, we did some good stuff in it, but we didn't finish it. Um, and that, that did have a, you know, some guys, that was a series you want to give chase, you know, and, and um, 
kind of regardless. Sometimes it's tricky, and you want guys. I wanted guys to to know. All right, this is when your time's coming, and, and make sure we can respond accordingly. You, you went back to your number to Graham and your number one line after the interception. Is that just saying, look, sending a message? We got to take care of the ball down here. Or are you looking at the score and saying, I don't want this to get a little closer than it is. Yeah, I think it, you know it ends up being the plan was really okay. Let's go with this group and then let's come back. And then, but I think when when that does happen, it, it certainly changes a little bit. You know, heck, we put our you know we weren't sure what was going to happen. We put an onside team on. You know, and the other guys did a good job executing. That's always one of those tricky ones, right? Because you're not sure that they really will. But it was uh, it was good to see you know guys handle that situation, the, the kickoff return unit. But a lot of it was um, all right. This is where we're at. We want to get you know a, a group of those guys in, but knowing that this this thing's not over yet. And, and certainly um, you know what happened on the ensuing drive that that uh, nobody wanted that, right? I mean. No one wants that to happen, but um, they did have a little, all right, we got to make sure we we don't screw this thing up. Okay. So, Paul, when it comes to the defense, John Torchio got to start at safety, and then you also let Alexander Smith in for, for Fayon. Yep. When did you know that you weren't going to have Colin and, and Fayon for this game, and just how you feel that John and Traven, for that matter, you know, at safety, uh, Blaylock, how they performed at safety, but also, you know, the cornerbacks, you know, Something in for Fayon. Yeah, you know, it's, um, I don't know that, you know, the defense would play really well, you know, and, and so, um, you know, I'm sure guys did, you know, I saw, you know, Trey showed up, you know, and he had a couple of plays, and, um, yeah, I thought Scott played well, and, and Torch, I mean, defensively played well, right? And, and so um, it takes a lot of guys to do that, you know, specifically how, how the corners did, um, you know, seeing, First glance, while you're watching the game, that they were uh, they were in good shape, you know. And the same thing with Torch. Paul, did Jalen ever ask where he stood, or did you ever offer a conversation to tell him where he stood after last week? Yeah, I think you're always talking to your players, you know. And, and uh, there's no, you know, there's not a lot of uh, drama that way. You, know, you, you communicate with all of them. Paul, when you uh, took at the defense front seven, really took away the run for the second week in a row. I know that's the goal of the defense every week, but what did you see from the sideline that they were doing well to, to do that for another game? Yeah, I thought once again, you know, I thought we had a good plan, and I thought guys were attacking, and, and um, you know, obviously it takes, you know, the front seven, and but, you know, the safeties are so involved in that, and um, I, I thought they were really good and impacted in the in the passing game too. You know, Keanu had the the knockdown, Henny had a knockdown, Henny gets the sack. You know, I just like the way that group's playing right now. Obviously, you didn't have to throw a whole lot today, but what do you think of the way Graham kind of managed things out there? Yeah, I thought he did some. Uh, thought he did some good things. You know, um, you're right. It was a different type of game. You know, I still think that we got to be. Um, this, this isn't necessarily on Graham, but just as a. As an offense, we got to be better on third down. You know, I didn't think we were we were great on third down, and, and that's I said that's not just Graham. That's that's me. It's uh, everyone. You know, but I thought he did. I thought he he was confident, and, and um, you know, protection was good, and played poised, and, and thought that part was good.